Hello friends, good afternoon. In this video, we are going to understand how we can customize a gauge field as per our requirement. So to start with, first we'll understand what is a gauge field. So here I'm going to open a gauge card for a particular gauge, gauge type. So what type of gauge it is, gauge description, division, each of this is what we call it as a gauge field. So this is a field name, gauge type is a field name. So what kind of gauge it is? Similarly, gauge size. So these are the information which we call it as field name. So this field name sometimes in your organization, you may not use a particular gauge field. It is not a practice to let's say update NIST number. So here you have something called NIST, NIST number. So in, if, in your organization, if you do not have a practice of uh, updating NIST number for a particular gauge, this field will be left to blank, right? Uh, so these are the default gauge field names that comes along with gauge pack. Sometimes there will be a scenario where I may have to uh, document or I may have to track a particular information about a gauge, but that field name is not available as a default field name. For example, you have current location, storage location, Let's say you also want to map the manager name, right? But in this gauge card, as part of the default field name, there is no place for me to track manager name. So I want manager name to be displayed in the uh, gauge card general tab, but I don't have a field to track or document manager name. So what can I do? I can customize one of these fields, which I'm not using as manager name and start tracking the information here. That is one option. So first we will see the other op uh, that option. I'll also explain you one another way of using or um, tracking information that you want in gauge pack. So first we will see how to rename an uh, existing field and start tracking information that we want. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to click on file settings, global collections, field name. So if you click on field name here, you will see the data, the database name, default value, and the display name. So the last option that you see here is how it get displayed in the gauge pack. And if this is the default value, and this is how it is identified in the database. Now I'm going to scroll down to locate where is NIST number, NIST number, right? So here, if you see, as I scroll down, I see NIST number here. Anyway, I'm not going to use NIST number. So I'm going to use this place as manager name, right? So I have documented this as manager name. So NIST number will be now displayed as manager name. And I can start using this field to track the manager name. So see, you see here that it has changed to manager number name, right? Okay. So this is how you can edit one of the fields which you, you are not using to uh, track or mon, uh, you know uh, update information that you want. So I'm going to close this. I'm going to click here, go to settings, global collections, field name. Now it will show as manager name. I'm going to change it back to NIST number. Okay. So if you see here, it shows manager name. I'm going to change it back to NIST number. So N I S T NIST number. So I'm going to save and exit. Again, when I save and exit, if I open this time, it has changed to NIST number. So this is how you can use one of the fields which is available in the gauge pack, gauge card, general tab to customize or change it, use it as per your requirement. That is one option. Sometimes, there is no space available. All these uh, gauge fields are used in your organization. So there is no um, uh, field available which you can rename it and use it. However, you need to track some information. So that is where we are going to make use of another option in gauge pack, which is called user fields. So if you see here in gauge card, like general history calibration, if you, as you see this list of tabs, one of the tab will say user fields. If you see here, generally in any gauge pack, there are 10 user fields given 
and similarly 10 user checkbox given now what is the difference between a user field and a user checkbox user field will take text as an input so you can give a text value alphanumeric or numeric value as a uh, input to this field however for a user checkbox it is a yes or a no you can only put a tick mark or you can uncheck this so that's the difference so information where you can say yes or no you can use user checkbox information where you want to uh, give a text or alphanumeric or numeric inputs you can use user field so let's see how to use this to our advantage so let me close this again i click on file settings global collections field name as i scroll down the last 10 option let's say user checkbox one okay user checkbox one user checkbox two so here user checkbox three i'm going to call it as test right i'm going to call it as test similarly user field eight right user field eight i'm going to call it as test right i'm going to call it as test so these two information user field eight and user checkbox okay so test is already there so i'm going to say test hyphen zero one right so user checkbox three and user field eight we have updated the names right i'm going to save and exit now i'm going to open this if you see here user checkbox three has now become test so any information if you want to capture it as a yes or a no you can update or change the name in user checkbox similarly any information that you want to capture as an alphanumeric numeric or text field you can use the user field so user field and user checkbox are additional columns given in gauge pack to capture information which is not generally captured in the default field names so if you want to create a specific field which is not part of gauge pack default field name you can make use of user field similarly if you want to create a checkbox which is not part of default checkboxes in gauge pack then you can make use of the user checkbox option right so this is on the general gauge card how you update a particular field similarly how you use the user field and user checkbox like how you can do this in general gauge card similarly you can do this in events also so i have highlighted this gauge i have clicked on event so there are different types of event that you can enter you can enter a calibration event you can enter an external calibration event you can do a group calibration entry you can do a verification event check in check out group check in group check out all these options are available under the tab event so if i select this and if i go to calibration so in calibration also like how you have in your general gauge card in calibration also you have two user fields available so using those so here calibration approved by this user field was already updated as calibration approved by but the default name will be user field one so you have a user field one and user field two so in like you have in calibration in all the other uh, activities also you have user field one user field two the reason why you have these two user fields because in each of these entries that is event entries that you are going to post if you want to update this field and capture any specific information you can update that how can we achieve this very similar to how we updated the user field in gauge card click on file go to settings inside settings you will have global collections in global collections like how we clicked on field name this time we are going to click on event user field right so we are going to click on event user fields so if you click on event user fields it will say under calibration you have user field one two user field one is already changed to calibration approved by user field two can be changed to test one just to show you how it will reflect so user field one is already showing as calibration approved by user field 2 i can change it to test 1 now i can say save and exit now i select this gauge click on event go to calibrate if you see here user field 1 is already showing as calibration approved by user field 2 change it to test 1 so this is how you will make use of the user fields in uh, event entries 
to capture information which is specific to uh, that particular event, not part of the default information that comes with PHPath. Along with that, if you want to give or add any two information that you want, you can use user field one and user field two. So friends, in this video, we saw how to update, edit, or customize a gauge field under gauge card general or any other uh, field in gauge card. Similarly, we also saw how we can use the user field one to 10 and user checkbox one to 10 to uh, track information, which is not part of the default gauge fields. Similarly, we also saw how to make use of the user fields inside the event tab. So if you want to post a calibration entry, external calibration entry, in each of those entries, there will be two user fields, how you can customize, edit, or change it as per your requirement. Hope this video was useful for you. For more training videos on GagePack, subscribe to our channel. Thank you. For any GagePack related queries, call plus 919-6000-22606 or email pqtechdesk at gmail.com. Our support team answer queries from 10 a.m. IST to 5 p.m. IST on weekdays.